speak of design and manufacturing is located in Lewistown, Montana. I started the company in 2001 and we have become one of the leaders in the industry for elevated access equipment. Uh, our customers are manufacturing lines, aviation maintainers, industrial maintainers, and they have several different factors that we need to comply with. Number one is their safety requirements, but they also need to have an efficient product, something that will get them to where they need to be very quickly and easily. They also, many times, are looking for a quick turnaround. And of course, it has to be something that fits within their budget. Most speaker platforms are between three and five feet wide, uh, 10 to 16 feet long. They go from four to six feet tall up to four to 16 feet tall. Having a level stable platform for an end user is critical. It's gonna make them feel more safe. It's gonna make them more productive. It's gonna make them more comfortable when they're spending four to six hours a day on it. We've used screw jacks and trailer jacks in the past. They're very labor intensive for the end user. You gotta go from one side to the other, up and down the platform to get it at the right height, as well as getting it flat and level. In the past, we've used hydraulics. Uh, we found out that they're messy for the end user. We have a hard time with keeping the platform level from one side to the other, as well as they settle down over time if you're not constantly adjusting them. Um, and it ends up just being more maintenance and work for the end user. We switched and started using electric actuation in 2010. We found it was a good fit, but we still had some issues with synchronization, keeping platforms level, getting even output. We've had a couple platforms in the past that were pretty large systems that had uneven loads. And when those went up, the actuators would travel at different speeds, causing the platform to go up unevenly. And then as some actuators topped out and others hadn't yet, it would create some jerking motions. It just didn't provide us a stable, safe feeling to our product. The actuators we started using uh, had around 20, 24 inches of adjustability. Uh, when we first started, uh, that was enough. Uh, now we're starting to have customers with more unique needs where we need, you know, three, four, up to 12 or 14 feet of adjustability. At that point, we realized that we had to start sourcing other actuators, uh, something with more static strength, synchronization options, uh, longer strokes, so that we could continue meeting our customers' unique expectations. When Thompson introduced their HD line of actuators, it was very well custom made for what our requirements were. They provided strength, of course, in the, the product itself for static and dynamic loading, but we had options within the various models of speed, availability, strength, and of course, the uh, stroke length, which, which is important. It also offered very simplistic installation. Everything was integrated within the actuators, and it took very little time to assemble these onto our system. Synchronization uh, for us at Spica here is when we got our electric actuated platforms, we've got to balance the load on our platform and keep it level. And so in doing so, we have a master actuator that takes the signals from each individual actuator, keeps them all going at the same speed. And so anytime there's a slower actuator, depending on the load, uh, the master actuator or slow that actuator down and keep everybody in balance. One of the industries that Spica serves is the aerospace industry and manufacturing various components from satellites to rockets. And those are applications where positioning is very key. We need to have very accurate and, and easily positioned access for these products. And the synchronization has allowed us to ensure that. Uh, in the past, before we had the access to synchronized actuators, we would try and balance platforms by adding weight uh, to balance out the load to ensure that it would go up evenly and consistently. With Thompson's HD series, they're all synchronized together and we don't have to worry about adding ballast to keep things balanced. We can also connect more than one deck together and actually link those actuators to where from one control we can elevate all platforms at one time and ensure that they are all consistently elevating. Assembly lines are a key part of our business here at Spica and the upper level access with the electric actuation allows them to get there quicker. We are able to get the workers up safer. Fall protection helps prevent fatigue on the employee's body. Less injuries, there's a less insurance cost on the companies. As we go forward, we're going to be designing new and more uh, unique products that address the application needs of our customers. And without a doubt, Thompson is going to be a part of that process of developing these. With the uh, 
excellent products. The almost non-existent problems with these once they're in the field and the fact that they've got much versatility and very good customer support, direct links to their engineers, their developers, uh, the ones that can help us install these, they're going to be a critical part of our operation as we go forward.